Hey guys, what's up? My name is Satyajit Patnaik and in this video we shall be talking about row level security in Power BI. So let's get started. Hello. In this video we shall be learning about the security options in Power BI. As we already know that we are using a lot of data sources in Power BI, we are dealing with a lot of data. It's a business intelligence tool. How can we manage the security? Is it secured? Is it not? We'll be discussing about all these options in this video. So before getting started with the practical part, let me explain you some concepts related to Power BI. So Power BI offers you row level security. What is that? Now row level security, which is otherwise called as RLS, can be used to restrict data access for given users. Filters restrict data access at the role level. And you can define filters within roles. In the Power BI service, members of a workspace have access to data sets in the workspace. RLS doesn't restrict this data access. You can configure RLS for data models imported into Power BI with Power BI Desktop. You can also configure RLS on data sets that are using direct query such as SQL, such as um, analysis services, Azure data lakes. For analysis services or Azure analysis services, live connections, you configure row level security in the model, not in Power BI desktop. So there are a lot of options, how to set RLS. But from a layman's point of view, what exactly is RLS? Now, imagine you are working with humongous data and you have so many users and you want to restrict some users to access a certain level of data. For example, all your Indian users should be available to see the Indian data. All the people in EU, EU region, maybe the European region will be restricted to the European data. People who are working in China, they would be only accessible to China, China database something like that. So if you want to implement these kind of things, is it possible in Power BI? Of course it is possible. So we'll be doing that. For that, I have a small data set, the same customer churn data set, which is one of my classic examples, which I use for each and every class. So I have row number, customer ID, surname, blah, blah, blah. So many features. Now, just imagine of course, this is not a relevant data for this particular example, but just imagine that you have millions of rows and you want to have access on geography. Let's say France users will only be seeing the France data. Germany users will only be seeing the Germany data and Spain users will only be seeing the Spain data. How is it possible? So going back to the home page, which is my dashboard. These are simply three tables which has been created. One is the generic table, one is a line chart and one is a pie chart. And I can see all the data. I can see the France data, I can see Germany data, I can see Spain data. How do we create that row level security in Power BI? So there is an option in modeling. You can see manage roles. You can see modeling in the security tab. There is manage roles. If I click on manage roles, and I create a role. Let's say I want to create a role on France. And then you can see tables. So tables, let's say we'll add a filter on geography. I'll mark it as France. Click on save. That means my role is created. My first role is created. How do I create another role? Let's say I want to have another role for people who are in Spain. Same, click on the, the three dots, add filter, geography, and let's say Spain. Similarly for Germany also, you have to do the same way, not showing you that, which is the basic concepts. So France and Spain is ready for me. How to check whether what we have done is correct or not? Go to the modeling section again in the security tab, view as France, you can see that 
the view is changed to France. This is our new rule set which has been created, right? And I'm only seeing the France data. You can see the geography, only France data is there. Now, if you want to validate it, you can probably go to your geography and you can see in the filtering option, I can only see France because this is what has been created from the manage roles tab. How do we create multiple roles? For that, we would need we would need to create another role. Let's say I want to create another role called as Frager. So it should have a filter on France and geography. Sorry, not and or geography. That means you have to see both the cases, right? So will this work? Let me just paste it out because France equals this or geography equals to Germany. Will this work? If I validate it, it throws me an error. That means or is not acceptable. Instead of that, you have to use double pipes. And then once you click on this, so the DAX is validated. Click on save. It's saved. Now go to view as and then go to Frager, which is Fry in Germany. And then you will be able to see the France and Germany data. So this is how you manage everything. Let's say I then want to click on other users and then click on OK. Everything is done. I'll go to my home page and then I click on save and then I'll click on publish, which will ask me my workspace and then I will be able to publish it. And then how can we do the same thing from the Power BI service? I'll go to testing, click on select, done. So we go to Power BI service. My, yeah, my, my report is published. I go to my workspaces testing. Now I will, I'm able to see my dashboard RLS. You can see. So here there are two things. One is your data sets and data flows. And here in the all, you can see your report and data set. So click on data sets and data flow, go to your data dashboard underscore RLS, which is same as this one. And then click on these three dots and then click on manage permissions. My bad. Security. And then you can see, I, I am able to see three different permissions, three different roles that has been created. And let's say you want to provide some access to certain amount of users for this fragger, fragger, whatever it is, and then add it. And then boom, Saurav Agarwal, this particular user has been given this permission. Now this candidate, if he is opening his Power BI account, even if he opens here, he will only be able to see, I have to save, he will only be see, able to see the France and Germany data. Now, this is how you can give access to multiple users. Let's say some users are having access on certain areas. You can give these accesses like this. And this is all about RLS in Power BI. And that's, that's all about security in Power BI. And there are some other ways as well, how to manage uh, the, the, the row level security dynamically there are other ways as well you can probably explore that from google there will be a lot of blogs related to that but from the row level security part that's all about we can also go through this particular blog which will give us a better understanding on what exactly rls is rls means row level security that means we have to provide some permissions on row level which means you are getting the entire data, but on top of the entire data, you have certain users and you are providing certain users some access. One is having access to some chunk of data. Another user is having access to another chunk of data and so on. 
you can see everything has been explained the same way which i just explained okay this is all about your rls row level security you can explore all of these options and that's it you can learn more about it as well so that is it from the security point of view in our next video we shall be coming up with the different topics thank you